Hi everybody, I just wanted to spend a little time with you um, going through how to get around the course in case you're having trouble uh, finding your way. I am going to go into 23160, which is the course for this online class. The opening, when you open up the class, it will always have the uh, announcements and so every week there should be a new announcement telling you a little bit about what to expect for the week and after you do that uh, as you know we have uh, the links over here for different parts of the class we have the syllabus which gives you an idea of what you'll you will be doing for the semester under weekly resources I have I will um, put those into modules so the first uh, lesson learning module will be chapters 1 through 4 and so we have all the weeks 1 through 4 I uh, under week 1 you'll have the assignment lecture notes and I will also as I get videos prepared uh, put those in a link for you as well when you complete your assignment you will uh, click on assignment and you will attach the, the file from your computer, the Excel uh, work that you have done. You will find the Excel templates in Wiley Plus, and so I have Wiley Plus pulled up here for uh, accounting principles for, you'll see AC 23160 is where the link should take you. And under Read, Study, and Practice, there's all the resources that the publisher is offering through this website. So you, there's all kinds of glossaries, textbook, or self-test questions, etc. But where you will get the working papers for the assignment is under additional resources. And under additional resources, you will click on Excel working papers. So right now in the drop-down menu, I have chapter one and I will go to additional resources and click on Excel working papers and after I have downloaded Excel working papers I will pull up the chapter one working papers and you will see that they are full of tabs that correspond with the end of chapter exercises and problems so we have chapter one brief exercises and chapter one do it and if you keep tabbing over you will get then to the exercises and in this particular chapter you are to do exercise 1-8 so you'll complete exercise 1-18 and then you'll also tab through until you get to the problems and uh, one of your um, assignments is to complete problem 1-1a 1-1a is on two tabs so you'll need to uh, go through tab 1-1a the instructions in your book and then finish it on 1-1a concluded so some problems will have more than one tab just as 1-2a has two tabs actually 1-2a has three tabs uh, so we have the first one and then continued and then concluded so uh, you can keep tabbing through and see all the other tabs that match what is on um, in your test book for the end of chapter exercises and problems there's problems in most chapters there's problem set A and problem set B and so pay close attention to what you have been assigned for the um, chapter so there is also in Wiley Plus uh, for assignments every I plan to every chapter have an extra credit assignment so in this first uh, chapter one there are two exercises that you can do for extra credit you you can see that you have three attempts to do each question and after you do each attempt it gives you what part you did right or wrong. In other words, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this, but for a Gilligan Cruise statement, uh, you will have um, the drop down menu, it, the total is, or total revenues. And so, for instance, I will just do a couple things. I'll say ticket revenue. 
and usually if you start to type something an option will come up and I have ticket revenue of 415 367 and uh, let's just say that's all I did and I'm submitting this as my answer and you notice that uh, it says your answer is partially correct try again and so I see that I had um, total revenues up here was not correct but my ticket revenue was correct and then I need to you know finish and start with expenses we'll try a couple more things uh, I'll just put in utility expense utility expense and it says utility expense is 12047 and I'll take out that total revenues um, let's see it's the income statement so and there's only one type of revenue so I thought that would be correct isn't that interesting maybe I don't even want anything there maybe I can take that out hmm I'll need to figure that out won't I I'm gonna take that out and submit my answer and the answer is partially correct well I, I guess I'll look in the book and see what should probably be in this column here because I can see that I've got expenses correct and utility expenses correct and and so that is how you will do your extra credit you'll have three chances to complete the extra credit so I'm going to save that for later and um, without being distracted see if I can figure out what that should be but so for the homework though you will browse your compute you'll save your Excel spreadsheet with all the work on it and you'll attach the complete file and you will submit it and be sure that you submit it you'll push submit be sure you submit it before the due date the uh, cases everything for there's another avenue to find the homework and it is through just the assignment cases tab and so if I wanted to go directly to the homework I could do it from there too. The weekly discussion is uh, the the one that you will be doing for the week is uh, at this tab and remember discussions are due the same time that homework is due which is typically Tuesday at midnight. The ask questions here tab is a really useful tool. Students have told me that they like this. If you're doing your homework and and you have a question on this week's work uh, just ask and uh, check this uh, discussion board often maybe you can help out a fellow student I will also check it out and uh, um, periodically and see if there's questions I can answer too. the Wiley Plus link this should take you right to your Wiley Plus account for this class and always check your email because uh, that is how I will communicate with you. If you want to send a message, create a message. Uh, in this uh, place, you can send it to just me, the instructor, or you can email a fellow student, or you can select everybody and send a blanket message. And to do that, you would select all and then use this arrow here and um, push it over to recipients and then do your messages. When grades are posted they will show up here in my grades. So I hope that uh, gets you a little bit familiar with the way the class is set up and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.